Hello students, my name is Professor Mohammad Asim and we are doing ADMATH. ADMATH for IGCSE students which have syllabus code 0606 and for CIE O level students which have syllabus code 4037. So both kind of students can get equal benefit from this course. Students in last lecture we did some questions of past papers for the topic integration today we will do same topic integration with more questions from past papers see this question given that integration integrate 0 to k 2 e 2 x minus 5 over 2 e minus 2 x dx is equals to 3 over 4 where k is a constant show that for e 4k minus 12 e 2 k plus 5 is equals to 0 this question came in October, November 2013, paper 13, question number 11. So, very easy. Part number 1 integrate 0 to k to e to x minus 5 over 2e minus 2x upon uh, sorry dx is equals to 3 over 4 so apply the sign of integration on each term 2 is outside 0 to k e 2x dx minus 5 upon 2 is outside e minus 2x dx don't forget to write operator that is dx so 2 e power 2x integration is e power 2x upon the derivative of 2x that is 2 limit 0 to k minus 5 upon 2 e power minus 2x integration is e power minus 2x upon the derivative of minus 2x that is minus 2 limit 0 to k 3 upon 4 this 2 cancel by this 2 apply the limit e power 2k minus e power 0 upper limit minus lower limit minus minus plus 5 upon 2 to the 4 apply limit e power minus 2k minus e power minus 2 into 0 obviously it is 0 3 upon 4 e power 2k minus something to the power 0 is always 1 plus 5 upon 4 we can write e power 2 minus 2k is 1 upon e power plus 2k minus e power 0 something power something to the power 0 is 1 3 upon 4 e power 2k minus 1 plus 5 upon 4 take the LCM of e power 2k so 1 minus e power 2k this is the LCM and you know very well how to take LCM taking the LCM overall LCM of left hand side 4e 2k so this is multiply 4e 2k and e 2k is e 4k minus 4e 2k by 1 is 4e 2k plus 4e 2k cancel so 5 ones are 5 minus 5 into e power 2k is 5e power 2k is equals to 3 upon 4 this 4 cancel by this 4 4e power 2k 
फर्स्ट राइट फोर ई पावर फोर के माइनस फोर ई पावर टू के माइनस फाइव ई पावर टू के माइनस नाइन ई पावर टू के प्लस फाइव इज इक्वल्स टू दिस डिनोमिनेटर ई पावर टू के शुड मल्टीप्लाई बाय थ्री सो इट इट इज थ्री ई पावर टू के सो फोर e पावर फोर के माइनस नाइन ई पावर टू के प्लस फाइव शिफ्ट दिस इट विल बी माइनस थ्री ई पावर टू के नोट रम ऑन राइट हैंड साइड इट इज जीरो फोर ई पावर फोर के माइनस माइनस नाइन ई पावर टू के माइनस थ्री ई पावर टू के माइनस ट्वेल्व ई पावर टू के प्लस फाइव is equals to zero. Shown, this was the requirement of part number one. You can see again part number one. Show that four e four k minus twelve e two k plus five is equals to zero. And now we have achieved the target. Look at part number two. Part number two is using a substitution of y is equals to e power two k, or otherwise find the possible values of k. Very easy. Our equation was four e power four k minus twelve e power two k plus five is equals to zero. Now substitution will ease the question. So according to question, y is equals to e power two k. So four e power four k obviously y square minus twelve e power two k is y plus five is equals to zero. This is a quadratic equation solved by using method of middle term break. So five for the twenty, ten to the twenty, ten and two is twelve. So four y square minus ten y minus two y plus five is equals to zero. So taking two y is common. Two y is two y minus five, and minus one is common. Two y minus five is equals to zero. Two y minus five. And to y minus one is equals to zero. Y is equals to five upon two, and y is equals to one upon two. But this is not our final answer because our answer is in the form of k. So our final answer is also in the form of k. So replace y by e power two k. So y is e power two k. And first value of y is five upon two. Okay. Obviously, we have to take the LCM. Uh, sorry, we have to take ln on both sides. Ln e power two k is equals to ln five upon two. Ln and e cancel. Two k is equals to ln five upon two. K is equals to one upon two. Ln five upon two. And Using scientific calculator, one upon two ln five upon two is zero point four five eight. Next, next y value is one upon two. So y is equals to one upon two. Y is e power two k is equals to one upon two. Again. Taking LCM, uh, sorry, taking ln on both sides, ln e power two k is equals to ln one upon two. ln and e cancel, two k is equals to ln one upon two. k is equals to one upon two ln one upon two. And by using scientific calculator, you will get 
minus 0 0.347 this is our final answer so we have two values of k for part 2 0 0.458 or negative 0 0.347 answer so hope you enjoy this part 2 as well as this part one very important question and very easy now we will choose another question yes this question came in May June 2014 paper 11 question number 5 May June 2014 paper 1 question number 5 part number 1 given that y is equals to e x square find dy by dx very simple and very very easy e power x square derivative is e power x square into derivative of x square that is 2x hence 2x e power x square is our final answer part 2 use your answer to part 1 to find integrate x e square dx so student we have find d by dx derivative of e x square is 2x e x square so the derivative of e x square is 2x e x square hence integration of 2x e x square is e x square obviously so taking 2 is outside x e x square dx is equals to e x square this 2 should be divided on other side so it is 1 upon 2 e x square plus c this is our final answer so very easy if we have derivative of the function then we can easily integrate hence evaluate integrate 0 to 2 x e x square dx hence means we have to take the help from the final answer our final answer is obviously part 3 1 upon 2 e x square so apply the limit from 0 to 2 according to question 1 upon 2 e 2 square minus e 0 square e 2 square is 4 e 0 into 2 is 0 or 0 square is 0 something to the power 0 is 1 so if you take the help from the calculator find e4 minus 1 upon 2 you will get 26.8 so this question is more easy than previous question so it happens sometimes questions are easy questions are not easy questions are lengthy questions are short anyway move to next question this question came in October 
नवंबर 2014 पेपर वन वन पेपर वन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री क्वेश्चन इज अकर्व इज सच दैट डी वाई बाई डी एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू टू अपॉन रूट एक्स प्लस थ्री The curve passes through the point six comma ten. Find the equation of curve. Very very easy. We have given dy by dx is equals to two over x plus three root. Separate dy two upon x plus three root dx. right x plus 3 root in terms of x plus 3 minus half dx because we make denominator to numerator now integrate both side integrate dy integrate this integrate dy is y and x plus 3 power minus half integration is Minus half plus one is half upon minus half plus one is half. Okay, so y is equals to one up two upon one upon two is two to the four x plus three half plus c. This curve, according to question, passes through six comma ten. So satisfy it by six. Comma ten. So ten is equals to four into six plus three half plus c. Ten is equals to four. Six plus three nine. Nine to power half is three plus c. Four plus three is four. Three is a twelve plus c. C is equals to minus two. Hence, our equation of curve is y is equals to four x plus three half minus two. This is our final answer. Part two: Find the x coordinate of the point on the curve where y is equals to six. Very easy. Just put, replace y by six. Four x plus three, half minus two. Six plus two is eight. Eight upon four. X plus three is half. Eight upon four is two. Squaring on both side, two is square is four, x plus three, x is equals to four minus three is one. Hence, the coordinates are one comma six. This is our answer. So, hope you enjoy this question. We will do some more question from the past papers, integration, and then after next lecture, I will do. Uh, i will start other topics of it, uh, at mass so kindly do subscribe my channel and whenever you subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when i upload